Super Dan kind of considers himself a centrist in a lot of ways. I'm not way to the left. I'm not way to the right. I'm kind of in the middle. So it's a good place to be. The truth often lies between two extremes. But <laughs> sometimes it's a lonely place to be right now because a lot of people are either leaning way to the left or leaning way to the right and we're polarizing we're becoming farther and farther apart i don't think that's a good thing you know people are not even talking to each other anymore hence cigar smoking <laughs> everything goes back to cigar smoking i think if everybody smoked a cigar relaxed chilled out and talked the world would be a better place At any rate, uh, that is definitely a tangent to a cigar review. But for my first cigar review, I wanted to let you know who I am in some ways. And, you know, sometimes I don't even know who I am. You know, because we all have that yin-yang. Like I said, we all have good. We all have evil. We all, are, we all have good and bad thoughts. And that just makes up who we are. We all have love. We all have hate. We all have anger, we all have happiness, and so forth. And that makes us who we are. The, the, the key, in my opinion, is balance. So I think we're about through the one-third part. We're getting into the two-thirds part right now of this cigar. Um, I'm getting the same taste. It hasn't really flavor transitioned that much. I was getting a really good caramel for a while, but that went away. And now I'm getting that tobacco earth taste again. Um, some ad advice on smoking a cigar and you know everybody will find out what, what they like what they don't like how they like to smoke cigars but there's certain guidelines that would help one of them is something that was my weakness in when I started smoking cigars is take your time do not smoke these like cigarettes you will get sick I promise you and chances are you will be an ex cigar smoker real fast you're not supposed to smoke cigars fast. You're not supposed to inhale cigars. Okay? The, think of them as wine. It's to, it's to be savored. It's to be enjoyed. It's to be cherished. Um, it's not something you're trying to get through real fast. Like a cigarette. You're trying to get that nicotine fixed, boom, and go back. You know, that's not what a cigar is. It never was meant to be though that way although you can get nicotine rushes with cigars obviously but that's not what it's about cigar smoking is supposed to be enjoyable enjoy it take your time with it the yeah. risks that you take when you when you buy a cigar from a shop with a with their own humidor is that sometimes they don't set their humidors properly. This is Las Vegas. It's very dry here in Las Vegas. You gotta air towards the size of side of more humidity than less humidity. And as you can see in this cigar, look how it's kind of unraveling now a little bit. See that right there? See that? I think that is from their humidor not being set properly. And these things can happen. Uh, it's not affecting the taste nor the smoke smoke right now. I hope it doesn't uh, But it's an annoyance and it might Correct itself. It might not we'll see But um, just keep that in mind when you're when you're buying singles From a store that this this can happen That's why I tend to like to mail order my cigars and keep them in my in my humidor where I know it's set right and the cigars will smoke well every time there's something called style and soul that develops a character. For example, back in the 60s with music, if you heard a Doors song, you knew it was a Doors. If you heard a Jimi Hendrix song, you knew it was Jimi Hendrix. If you heard a Beatles song or a Rolling Stones song or a, a, what, a Pink Floyd song, um, Sly and the Family Stone, you knew it. They had their own style. They had their own way about them. It wasn't uniform. It wasn't corporate. It wasn't a singularity. It wasn't a Borg. <laughs> All right. Similarly with my 
re cigar reviews, I'm going to develop my own style over time that that only Super Dan will have. You know, now you you'll find on YouTube some cigar reviewers that will just talk about the cigar. That's it. They won't talk about anything else. Barely anything else. Mostly about the cigar. Then you get the other side of the coin where people talk about everything else besides the cigar. All right. <laughs> Well, obviously, for the first start cigar review, we're talking about all kinds of crazy stuff, but that's okay. I'm just going with this. I have no notes. I have no idea what I was going to talk about when I turned on the phone or my camera. I guess I say camera. Turn on my camera. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to light this thing up and go. Let's go. Light up the ashes. Let's go. Uh, I'm winging it, sort of. I kind of I kind of know uh, basically how this goes because I watch a lot of cigar reviewers, and I know what they do. One one of my favorites is Lee Mac Nine One Two. Shout out to you, brother, of another mother. Cigars, cigar obsession. He's a guy who knows his cigars, man, and he's very confident in his reviews. But he's very centric on those cigars he won't talk about a lot of this he does talk about a lot of stuff but not you know he has his own style that's what i'm getting at he has a style lee mac has his style um and super dan is gonna have his style dig it or don't dig it that's up to you all right so i'm back you guys miss me <laughs> uh that crack got worse and worse so unfortunately I had to cut most of those two-thirds out I don't think it's a problem of H Upman I think it's a problem of the uh, place where I bought the cigar from their their humidor they don't have set they don't have a set properly so I'm probably gonna discontinue at least buying singles from this place if this keeps up I'm gonna try a few more times maybe it was, I was just unlucky and and got a dry cigar uh, it didn't taste dry but obviously the, the it, it shouldn't be doing that it shouldn't be cracking like it did anyway I couldn't save it, it tastes like ash ASH <laughs> uh, sometimes when a cigar is out one way to tell if it's out is hold it against a, a dark background if you see smoke coming up it's still lit blow out and if you see smoke and sparks coming out it's still lit uh, uh, don't breathe in like I accidentally did with this cigar because if you breathe in as the cigar is out or smoldering you get you bring all that ash through the cigar and then when you smoke it, it doesn't taste good anymore. It tastes like ash. And that's exactly what happened to that cigar, so we're gonna have to stop. Uh, for the parts that I did smoke of that cigar, I really did enjoy it. I did enjoy it a lot, especially that caramel creamy taste. That was delicious. I never really got a strong taste of cocoa, but I did get a taste of that earthiness, that sweetness. Um, that was really good. But unfortunately, the with the construction issues and uh, what happened with the cigar, I, it's gonna have to get a low rating from Super Dan, one to five stars. I'm gonna have to give it two, two and a half stars. Or normally it would probably get like three and a half stars, maybe four, because of those issues. So that's unfortunate, but. I enjoyed it. This was my first cigar review. Uh, hey, thanks for watching Dealing in the Desert. Thanks for listening to my ramblings and whatnot. You're going to get more of it. <laughs> Who knows? I don't have no idea what I'm going to talk about when we do these cigar reviews. It, I may do a review where it's just all about the cigar. I may do a review where I'm talking very little about the cigar. You never know. It's like a box of chocolates. Never know what you're going to get. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please, as I said before, say it again. Subscribe. Let's get that. Let's get those subscriber numbers up. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Anything at all. 
Support the channel. PayPal's easy. Not not too hard to send a buck or two. Very simple, and goes a long way. And you will be on the uh, you will be on the Super Dan's Hall of Fame. All right. Hey, I'll catch you guys later. It's been fun. Thanks for hanging out with me in Super Dan's garage, smoking a stogie with my doggy Hula Pie. I will catch you later. Uh, cheers. Have a great day. Fair winter following the season. Bye.